Liz Truss is right, isn't she, Christine Hamilton? The police should not be doing the Macarena dressed in uniform. They can do it in their own time, I Um, agree. Absolutely. I don't know if I'm the only one who is astonished that one of the things in this report is that the police should be banned from taking part in political activity. I thought they were already. I mean, obviously what they do in their spare time is one thing, but in... When they're in police uniform, if they've got a badge on or a helmet with stuff all over it, I mean, that is, I am astonished that that isn't already banned. But I mean, policing has just changed so much in my lifetime, which is, a, it's a long time. But I mean, where is the bobby on the beat? If people aren't being apprehended and caught, they're going to go on doing crimes. The two things that stop people doing crimes is, first of all, the chance of being caught, and secondly, the sentence or whatever they're going to get when they are caught. They just know now that they can get away with with murder. It was interesting, during COVID, when everybody was at home, burglary went whacking down because all the burglars knew that people would be at home and there would be no chance of getting caught. I mean, it's six out of 43 of our police forces are in special measures. Now, that is astonishing, including Manchester and the Metropolitan Police. I mean, that is a serious indictment of our police force, frankly. Mm. And that's what is happening at the top. Either we need to get better people in at the bottom so they're there to take the top roles, or we need to recruit from outside some of the senior police jobs. Indeed. It's out of control. And the report looked into that as well, actually. Mm. Adam Brooks, I mean, this idea that burglary and theft and muggings are are now decriminalised in Britain Mm. effectively is not a theory, Mm. it is true. Yeah. Um, Because you know if you are mugged on the streets of Lawless London, you know if your home is burgled in Manchester, you have less than 10% mm. of the police coming to any form of resolution. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've had two violent robberies against myself and they was never solved. Um, you know, there's many hard-working police officers out there. You know, there just needs to be more of them. Uh, I think we can all admit that, that cuts have hurt the force. Um, but who, who, who wants to go and work in the police with the, you know, with the reputation and, 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 and what we're the seeing at the moment? Because I support the police. Yeah. I back the police. I have lots of police in my own family in this country, mm. and they do an incredible job. But they are being let down by their bosses, yeah. by the bureaucracy, by the woke management, and by folk like the mayor of London, Sadiq Khan. Yeah. Ashley Jones, it is terrible, isn't it, to see that video. The police officers dancing with Extinction Rebellion protesters, taking the knee for BLM activists. How can you have respect for that sort of woke police force? I think there's a few things to say, and by the way, I agree um, with both of you in that we need more police on the streets, and it is terrifying that, you know, I've also been mugged, I was sexually assaulted in London, and in neither of those cases did the police take interest. Um, like you, so neither were solved. Neither were solved, but also they didn't really care, and that's a, that's a really haunting no. thought for They just our give safety. you a crime reference number and wave you off. And also, our justice system is falling apart because not only are there not enough police on the streets, but also there's no barristers. There's, you know, court cases are taking so mm. long to be solved. But we have to stop saying it's because of woke policing. How the do you the feel issue is... Hang on a minute. How do you feel the when you see that, no, but I want to ask, how do you feel 000... when you see that man on his knee? How does that make you feel? Do you feel that's a bloke who's going to have the respect? Because there were lots of criminals at that BLM march, by the way. Well, um, when there's a Pride event or a BLM event or any public event, there has to be police there. So these are not police that would yes. be dealing with burglaries. There has to be police there for transport, yeah, health and safety. Should they be doing the Macarena? To be honest, if there's four police doing a Macarena whilst they are policing an event to make sure that everything is safe, that doesn't bother me. Well, how can they be policing the event? Hold on one second, I'll let you come back in. But how can they be policing the event if they are doing the Macarena? Doing the Macarena, it takes two seconds, but to compare it to the lack of burglaries. It's not like they're being taken away from burglaries or sexual assaults or mugging. We have to start looking at the bigger picture and if we want to blame someone, it's not woke policing, it's that fact that in this last decade, 23,000 police have been cut from our streets. Yeah, we think that's terrible. We all think that's terrible. But isn't this about the image of the police, Christine? If we've got a smaller number of police, they need to be doing a better job, don't they? It's far more than four. 
majority of them they are dealing with mental health issues. That something that was meant to be social workers. The okay, let Adam, I've, I've just let come. Let I've let just come back from Spain. You know, every time I go, if, if I see a Spanish police officer, I get nervous, yeah, exactly. and I don't. I don't even exactly. do anything wrong. Yes. You know, they're quite intimidating. Now, I'm not saying we should go that far, but somewhere in the middle would be great. You know, where there's it's, respect. And at the end of the day, growing up, I remember looking at, at police yeah. officers. And they were big, fit absolutely. sort of people. Yeah. Now, the standards, it, it, it really, you know, yeah. some of the police officers that I see, bless them, and I'm, I'm, I'm not attacking them, they, they, they look like easy targets, yeah. you know. But also, they, they seem to think Fine now that, it, that it's more important to empathise with whoever it is, whether it's Extinction Rebellion or Black Lives Matter or whatever. Uh, that is more important than policing. They're not there to empathise with people. And Dan, They're there just, to uphold yeah. the law. Just, let's just remember, the grooming gang scandal happened because people were too woke and too scared exactly. to, to, you know, uh, to be seen to yeah. be doing the wrong thing. Would have been That's the route that we're going down. Crimes... So it's you not know. just the Macarena, Ashley. Do you see what I mean? It's what the Macarena represents. And 12 years of Tory policy and cuts to our public I agree services. when it comes to the cuts. So I think and what about that the twerking? Is the ultimate, <laughs> that is the ultimate priority. And it's all very, well for Boris Johnson, by everyone, I think. all very well for John, Boris Johnson to say he wants 20,000 more police officers, but they've also spent the last decade getting rid of 23,000. No,